Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today, we are back here with amazing news. McLaren has revealed its 10 upgrades for F1 Spanish GP. Before starting with the video, please subscribe to the channel to watch the latest videos and continue with this video till the end. So what are we waiting for? Let us start with this video right away. Before starting the video, let us first understand what F1 Spanish GP is. Okay, let us first tell you, do you have any idea about it? Well, let me tell you a brief introduction to these cars. The Spanish Grand Prix is presently contested at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. The race is one of the oldest continually held in the world, commemorating its 100th anniversary in 2013. The race began modestly as a production car race. The event waited a decade for its second running after the First World War before becoming a fixture on the European calendar. In 1927, it was a part of the World Manufacturers Championship. In 1935, it was elevated to the European Championship before the Spanish Civil War ended racing. The race was successfully relaunched in 1967 and has been a regular fixture of the Formula One World Championship at a number of sites since 1968. The Grand Prix of San Sebastián, also known as the Gran Premio de San Sebastián, was a motor vehicle competition that took place at the Circuito La Sorte in La Sorte Oria, Spain. Before going further with this video, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button now and subscribe to our channel. So now, let us move further with the history of the race. Let us look at how the race was invented before the war. 1913 was the year that saw the inaugural running of the race that is now commonly known as the Spanish Grand Prix. A competition for touring cars took place, although it was not a Grand Prix. It took place on a road course that was approximately 300 kilometers long and was located in Guadarrama, which is close to Madrid and on the way to Valladolid. It was known as the RACE Grand Prix, which is an acronym for the Royal Automobile Club of Spain, and it was won by Rolls-Royce driver Carlos de Salamanca. Before that, Spain had hosted several auto races. The most well-known of these competitions was the Catalan Cup, which was held from 1908 to 1910 on the road surrounding Sitges, which is close to Barcelona. Giuse Giopioni was driving a Lyon Peugeot when he won the first race. The next two races were won by Jules Gou, who was also driving a Lyon Peugeot. These races were instrumental in establishing a robust tradition of racing in Spain, which is still going strong to this day. It was because of this interest in racing that it was decided to construct a permanent track at Sitges. This track was a 2-kilometer or 1.2-mile oval that eventually became known as the Sitges Terramar and was the location of the first official Spanish Grand Prix, which was won by Albert Devo in a sunbeam in 1923. La Sarte. Following the conclusion of this first race, the track experienced financial difficulties, which forced the event's organizers to look for another venue at which to stage the races. The Spanish Grand Prix was relocated to the Circuito La Sarte in 1926, which is located on the northern coast close to Bilbao. In the 1920s, the San Sebastian Grand Prix was widely regarded as Spain's most prestigious auto race. In 1927, the AIACR World Manufacturers Championship included the Spanish Grand Prix as an event on the calendar. Because the event was not yet well known at the time, the rules for the race in 1928 and 1929 were those that applied to sports cars. The Spanish Grand Prix for sports cars was scheduled to take place on July 27, 1930. However, it could not take place due to the poor economy that followed the Wall Street crash in October 1929. In addition, there were intentions to hold the Spanish Grand Prix in 1931 and 1932, but those plans were scrapped due to political and economic issues. With assistance from the Spanish government, the Spanish Grand Prix was once again held in La Sarte in the year 1933. Following the completion of the race in Spain in 1935, the country entered a state of civil war, which brought an end to the sport. At the Pedro Abe's street track in Barcelona, the Peña Rin Grand Prix was held in 1946. Since 1939, this was the first time a race had been held in Spain. Circuito La Sarte because the Spanish Grand Prix was not yet formally recognized as a Grand Prix race when it took place throughout the majority of its existence, it served as the most important racing event that took place in Spain at that time. When there was no Spanish Grand Prix held during a given year, that particular year's San Sebastian Grand Prix results are occasionally retroactively treated as the results of that year's Spanish Grand Prix. 
a portion of the World Manufacturers Championship comprised the 1926 competition. The eighth running of the Grand Prix of San Sebastián was supposed to take place on July 25, 1930, but it had to be postponed due to the deteriorating economic climate that followed the crisis on Wall Street in October 1929. On October 5, 1930, efforts were made and the AIACR granted permission to still proceed with the race despite the earlier setback. This was going to be the final Grand Prix held in San Sebastián. The Spanish Grand Prix was held at the La Sorte track for the first time after racing returned there in 1933. It had been unclear how extensive McLaren's modifications would be for the Spanish Grand Prix of Formula One, but now that official FIA records have been released, it is evident how extensive the makeover will be. As part of the new procedures that will be implemented for the 2022 Formula One season, teams will be required to inform the FIA of any significant new components that will be used during each race weekend. McLaren submissions in advance of the first free practice have shown a variety of alterations that have an effect on the aerodynamics as well as the brake docks, two aspects of the car that gave the team trouble at the beginning of the season. In preparation for the Barcelona weekend, McLaren made 10 modifications to its MCL 36 racing car. Here is a rundown of those modifications. Front Wing Flap This is a new front wing flap that allows for a larger range of aerodynamic adjustment. This contains a variety of various choices for the gurney flap to meet the aerodynamic balance requirements. Adjustments were made to the front suspension's pairing, including modifications to interact with new front brake duct faces and intake geometries. The front brake duct has been redesigned with a new shape to improve its aerodynamic efficiency and new internals to improve the efficiency with which it cools the brakes. Floor. As part of the aero overhaul, the floor fences and edges have been revised to contribute to an increase in overall car downforce. Side pods. To contribute to an increase in downforce, new side pods were developed in conjunction with a new floor. Louvre. In anticipation of the high ambient temperatures that are to be found in Barcelona, New louves have been designed to function in conjunction with seed pods. Elirone Allier. The new downforce rear wing is designed to meet the requirements of the Barcelona track, but it will also be suited for tracks like Monaco. Winglet. For the rear brake duct, an adjustment that had been raced before was made to the geometry of the lower winglet of the rear brake duct to make it function better with the new floor. Side pod strake. The view of the driver has been improved because of the removal of one of the cockpit strakes, particularly as they got closer to the turn apexes. Diffuser. A rethought approach to the package that makes up the center diffuser, which helps to improve the airflow around the middle area. It has been reported that one of the cockpit strakes has been removed, along with the front wing flap, louves, floor, front brake duct, rear wing, rear brake duct winglet, and diffuser of the MCL 36. All of these components have been modified to help McLaren get back into a form that is closer to representing the team's performance from the previous season. New side pods have been developed and the front suspension has been revised. Both of these changes were made. And that's all for this video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to watch the latest videos on this channel. And thanks for watching.